Back in tonight's Business Watch, Amazon is jumping into the quantum computing wars. The company just unveiled a new processing chip to compete with Microsoft and Google. Evan Brown explains Amazon's new push and why quantum computers aren't anything like your tech at home. It took less than a second, and Amazon's most advanced quantum chip allegedly calculated the moment humanity's story ends. Then, without warning, it went dark. In the shadowy world of cutting-edge quantum computing, something extraordinary happened with Amazon's Ocelot chip, a breakthrough device that promised to revolutionize how we understand complex systems. But instead of delivering groundbreaking insights, it reportedly produced a projection so extreme that the world's biggest tech company had no choice but to hit the kill switch. This isn't just another tech story. This is about a fingernail-sized piece of hardware that might have glimpsed something no computer was meant to see. Parallels are already emerging with other mysterious quantum shutdowns. NASA's Quail Project, Google's Willow Chip, each hinting at computational powers beyond our current understanding. But what could a chip, no bigger than a fingernail, possibly see that would make the world's biggest tech company shut it down without explanation? The answer might change everything we thought we knew about our future. The unusual pattern. Amazon's Ocelot isn't just another quantum chip. It's a technological marvel that redefines computational possibility. Using a revolutionary cat qubit design, it reduces error rates by up to 90%, allowing simulations of unprecedented complexity. Imagine running trillions of potential futures in just minutes. Entire ecosystems, climate patterns, economic systems, all with a stability that leaves competitors in the dust. But during one particular multivariable Earth model run, something went terrifyingly wrong. The output allegedly didn't match known physics models. Instead, it produced a compressed timeline that pointed to an inevitable collapse. A sequence of events so precise, so interconnected, that it left researchers stunned. This wasn't just another simulation. This was a roadmap to potential destruction. Think about it. If you could run trillions of possible futures in minutes, what would you even look for? And what would you do if every single one ended badly? That's the question researchers faced when Ocelot returned its final output. A chip no larger than a fingernail seemed to have calculated humanity's expiration date. And this wouldn't be the first time a quantum system produced results humans weren't ready for. The story of Ocelot isn't isolated. It echoes chilling precedents in quantum computing's short but intense history. Take NASA's Quail Project, a complex simulation producing results so inconsistent with known physics that the entire project went silent before resuming with enhanced safeguards. Then there's Google's Willow, a quantum processor that solved problems in minutes, which would take classical computers 10 septillion years followed by mysterious output patterns some claimed resembled ancient symbols. In both cases, these machines pushed into computational territories no human had explored before, opening doors to results that defied conventional understanding. Each breakthrough hinted at something profound. Quantum computers aren't just faster computers. Their windows into computational realms were only beginning to comprehend. If Ocelot was running a world-scale simulation, what could it have seen that fits this pattern of quantum unpredictability? What computational secret might be so terrifying that Amazon would prefer to shut down the entire project rather than risk its revelation? If you want more deep dives like this, hit subscribe and tap the bell. There's a lot more coming. Imagine a quantum computer integrating every possible data set. Environmental changes, economic trends, socio-political tensions, all woven into a single, terrifying projection. Ocelot's alleged simulation identified an unavoidable tipping cascade. The Amazon rainforest's complete collapse, accelerated climate feedback loops, global supply chains disintegration, all converging on a specific narrow window in human history. This isn't pure speculation. Amazon's AWS already powers massive climate simulations like NCAR's 30-run climate forecast to 2070. The leap from those models to Ocelot's comprehensive projection isn't far-fetched. It's just a matter of scale and computational power. And here's the twist. If the model is right, changing even a single variable might not save us. So is this a countdown or a warning? 
there's a big difference. A countdown means it's over. A warning means we can still pull the brakes. But if you were Amazon, would you tell the public which one it was? The most terrifying prediction isn't about the end. It's about the moment we realize we're already too late to stop it. We are on the precipice of a monumental shift, facing the possibility of a device capable of charting the planet's future with unprecedented accuracy, leading us inexorably towards a predicted endpoint. The potential human ramifications of such a revelation are nothing short of seismic. Consider the cascading effects, global policy shifts instigated by a singular computational output, the immediate and widespread impact on stock markets, and the very real threat of entire societal structures unraveling under the sheer weight of this newfound, perhaps unsettling knowledge. The implications extend far beyond mere economic fluctuations. They touch upon the core tenets of governance, social organization, and individual freedoms. This isn't an entirely novel scenario, however. History offers a chilling precedent in the form of the Club of Rome's World One model. Developed in the 1970s, this pioneering computer program projected a grim future of societal collapse by 2040 if no drastic changes were implemented. What makes this historical artifact particularly disturbing is the unnerving alignment of some of its predictions with current global trends. The model, though rudimentary by today's standards, highlighted issues such as resource depletion, industrial growth, population expansion, and pollution. Themes that resonate profoundly in contemporary discussions about climate change, sustainability, and global inequality. The echoes of World One serve as a stark reminder that the warnings of the past, even those from nascent computational models, can prove eerily prescient. As we contemplate the advent of a new, more sophisticated predictive technology, it becomes crucial to learn from these historical lessons and prepare for the profound challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. The question then becomes not if, but how. Humanity will respond to such an ultimate foresight. In the 1970s, a team of MIT scientists utilizing the nascent computational power of the era embarked on an ambitious project to model the future of our planet. Their findings, though limited by the technology of the time, hinted at a potential global collapse if current trends continued unchecked. Fast forward to today, and the analytical capabilities of a system like Ocelot represent an exponential leap in detail and precision compared to those early machines. Where the MIT models offered broad strokes, Ocelot could paint an intricately detailed picture, simulating complex interdependencies and unforeseen ripple effects with unprecedented accuracy. However, this astounding technological advancement begs a deeply unsettling question. Are we truly prepared to confront the answer that such powerful models might reveal? In the 1970s, the notion of a comprehensive global collapse often felt like a plot line from science fiction, a distant, theoretical possibility. Now, we possess the sophisticated machinery and algorithms capable of modeling intricate chain reactions in real time, from environmental degradation and resource depletion to socioeconomic instability and geopolitical tensions. The stakes have never been higher. The abstract threat of yesteryear has transformed into a tangible, observable reality, meticulously rendered by our computational prowess. And perhaps the most terrifying revelation is this. With the ability to model these trajectories with such granular detail, we may discover that humanity is far closer to a critical, irreversible endpoint than we could have ever conceived. The simulations, once a hypothetical exercise, now serve as an urgent, chilling mirror reflecting our potential future. How a final timeline could be modeled. In the shadowy realm of advanced computation, a chilling prospect emerges, the quantum computer's ability to predict our collective destiny. This terrifying foresight isn't born from mystical prophecy, but from the relentless, hyper-dimensional processing of seemingly disparate data sets woven into a unified, predictive tapestry. Imagine climate patterns, energy consumption statistics, global migration trends, and indicators of political instability, all fed into a quantum crucible where they are fused and analyzed through the principle of quantum parallelism. 
Millions, perhaps billions, of potential combinations and permutations are tested simultaneously, exploring an almost infinite array of what-if scenarios in a fraction of the time a classical supercomputer would require. The true unsettling power of this quantum oracle lies in its capacity to identify convergence points. These are not mere correlations, but precise moments where diverse global crises align in perfect catastrophic synchronicity. A quantum computer doesn't simply calculate. It navigates and explores entire universes of possibility with an unparalleled speed and depth. Picture the machine tracing every conceivable human decision, every minute environmental shift, every technological breakthrough. And through this exhaustive exploration, it relentlessly uncovers the paths that consistently, inevitably lead to the same devastating conclusion. If, across countless simulations, Every trajectory and every intricate variable points to the same inescapable window of consequence, it becomes profoundly difficult to dismiss such a prediction as mere chance. In the face of such overwhelming computational consensus, it is hard not to call that fate. The quantum computer in this chilling future becomes the ultimate arbiter of possibility, revealing a future that feels less like a choice and more like a predetermined end. The implications are profound, raising questions about free will, the nature of causality, and humanity's ability to alter a destiny seemingly inscribed by the very laws of physics, elucidated by an artificial prophet. And yet, history tells us, predictions aren't destiny. Throughout the annals of time, prophets, oracles, and even scientific models have offered glimpses of what might be only for human will, unforeseen events, or the sheer randomness of existence to twist the narrative. We've seen dire warnings averted, triumphant forecasts fall flat, and countless paths diverge from the predicted course. But what if this time, the math is too precise to ignore? What if the algorithms unburdened by human biases or the emotional complexities that cloud our judgment have converged on a truth so stark, so undeniable, that even the most optimistic among us cannot refute it? What if the computer, in its cold, calculating logic, has found something we've been too afraid to see, a pattern in the chaos that reveals an inevitable conclusion. Sometimes the most terrifying predictions are not those that paint a picture of dramatic catastrophe, but rather the ones that leave no room for hope, just a clear, inevitable path to an ending we never saw coming. It's the chilling certainty, the lack of a what if that truly unnerves. It's the realization that every variable has been accounted for, every contingency explored, and the outcome remains unchanged. This isn't a possibility to be debated, but a foregone conclusion, a future already written in lines of code that we are now compelled to read. The terror lies in the silence after the revelation, the quiet understanding that the gears of fate have been turning all along, and we were simply too blind or perhaps too unwilling to perceive their inexorable grind. The Challenge of Prediction Predicting the future is an endeavor fraught with inherent limitations, akin to attempting to chart the course of a hurricane based solely on a single coin toss. The very fabric of reality, as understood through the lens of chaos theory, underscores this profound unpredictability. This theory posits that even the most minuscule alterations in initial conditions can cascade into monumental and unforeseen outcomes. A classic illustration is the butterfly effect. A butterfly flapping its wings in Brazil could, through an intricate and often imperceptible chain of atmospheric interactions, contribute to the formation of a significant storm halfway across the globe weeks later. This intricate web of interconnectedness renders long-term forecasting an exceptionally challenging, if not impossible, task. The complexity of prediction is further compounded by the pervasive influence of the human factor. Unlike deterministic systems, human societies are dynamic and inherently unpredictable. Political shifts, for instance, can rapidly reorient national and international priorities, leading to outcomes that no statistical model could have anticipated. Similarly, unexpected technological innovations, born from the ingenuity of individuals or collaborative efforts, can disrupt established norms and create entirely new paradigms. Furthermore, Sudden acts of cooperation or conflict, driven by human emotion, ideology, or self-interest, 
introduce wild cards that no computer algorithm, however sophisticated, can fully account for. We are not merely predictable machines. Rather, we are unpredictable creators of our own destinies, constantly shaping and reshaping the world around us through our decisions and actions. In light of this inherent unpredictability, the hypothetical scenario of Amazon shelving a profound scientific finding, particularly one related to a quantum chip capable of mapping a potential global endpoint, raises critical questions. The reasons for such a decision could be multifaceted and deeply significant, spanning legal, ethical, and national security domains. Legally, the mere possession or dissemination of such predictive power could open unprecedented avenues for liability, potentially implicating a company in events far beyond its direct control. Ethically, the implications are even more profound. The knowledge of a global endpoint, whether it be an impending crisis, a major societal shift, or a specific technological singularity, could fundamentally alter human behavior, potentially leading to panic, despair, or even attempts to manipulate or hasten such an outcome. The responsibility of holding such knowledge would be immense, and the decision to suppress it might be seen as an ethical imperative to prevent societal collapse or widespread destabilization. From a national security perspective, such a chip could represent an unparalleled strategic asset, one that could be exploited by adversaries or, conversely, lead to an arms race for predictive capabilities. The potential for misuse or the catastrophic consequences of its falling into the wrong hands would necessitate extreme caution and potentially the outright suppression of such a discovery. This brings us to a chilling question. If a quantum chip with such capabilities was indeed shut down, how close are we to the next one crossing the same line? The relentless march of technological progress, particularly in fields like quantum computing and artificial intelligence, suggests that the pursuit of predictive power will continue unabated. The ethical and societal dilemmas posed by such advancements are not theoretical. They are rapidly becoming pressing realities. The next breakthrough could be just around the corner, forcing humanity to confront the profound implications of knowing its own potential future and the immense responsibility that comes with such knowledge. The tension between the desire to understand and the potential for destructive misuse will define our approach to these emerging technologies. Here's the thing. If Ocelot did it once, the next chip will do it faster. And we can't exactly unsee the future once we've calculated it. The most dangerous knowledge isn't what we don't know. It's what we're afraid to admit we might know. Let's break down the basics. Quantum computing isn't magic. It's a fundamentally different approach to calculation. While classical computers process information in binary bits, quantum computers use qubits that can exist in multiple states simultaneously. Amazon's partnerships with Caltech, EonQ, and Regetti are pushing this technology forward, exploring real-world applications that sound like science fiction. The typical uses are actually pretty mundane. Drug discovery, materials science, optimization problems. Quantum computers help researchers solve complex challenges in fields like pharmaceuticals and engineering. None of these normal applications carry the same existential weight as an Earth-scale projection. But here's the twist. Each breakthrough brings us closer to computational powers we can barely comprehend. What starts as a tool for solving scientific puzzles could become a window into possibilities we never imagined possible. Whether or not Ocelot actually predicted the final chapter of Earth's story, one thing is certain. Quantum computing is getting faster, smarter, and stranger. We're standing at the edge of a technological frontier where our machines might soon understand our world better than we do. The most profound question isn't about the technology. It's about us. Are we ready to confront the futures our own creations might reveal? Are we prepared to see the paths that lie ahead? Even if those paths aren't what we want to see, maybe, just maybe, our biggest challenge isn't surviving the future, it's deciding whether we want to see it coming. If you want to be here when we break the next big story, subscribe now, because the clock is ticking, and trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next.